welcome to the Britain Unleashed Travel Agency, specializing in dog-friendly historical travel with a cheeky twist. This is Tiny Travel Tips installment number four. And for this Tiny Travel Tip, we're going to go underground and talk a little bit about how you can make your journey on London's tube a little quicker and more efficient. So the first thing we're going to do is get ourselves a tube map because that's where this Tiny Travel Tip starts. So I'm going to go to tfl.gov.uk, that's Transport for London, tangofoxtrotlima.gov.uk, and go to Maps. Tube and rail maps. And you could get a tube map, but it won't show you actually what I want to show you. So I'm going to go to National Rail and then London's Rail and Tube Services. Uh, rather than just showing you the tube lines, this actually shows you all of the National Rail and the tube lines around in and around the Greater London area. You can download this map if you want to. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it in this case. And for the purposes of this tiny travel tip, we're going to imagine that we're taking a journey from Heathrow Airport to Euston, which is in north central London. That's a tube station in north central London because you're staying at a hotel near Euston. So here's Heathrow right here. And Euston is, as I said, in north central London. It's right here. There are three ways on uh, public transport not counting the buses because that would take you about three days. There are three ways easily to get to central London from Heathrow. The first way you could go is the Heathrow Express, which is uh, this sort of light blue dashed line. It starts at Heathrow and it terminates up at Paddington here. You could take TFL Rail, Transport for London Rail, which is this sort of royal blue line. And it also goes from Heathrow to Paddington. The uh, difference between those two um, differences are the Heathrow Express is nonstop. It will take you about 15 minutes and it will also cost you an arm and a leg. It's about 22 pounds for that 15 minute journey if you're off peak and 25 pounds if you're traveling during peak hours. The TFL rail, this one here, has stops along the way. It'll take you about 30 minutes and it'll cost you, I think, around six pounds. Uh, the way that we're going to talk about, because uh, we want to go to Houston. If you if you are only going to the Paddington area, those two are, you know, good choices. But if you're not going to the Paddington area, you have to connect to somewhere else anyway. And in this case, we're going to go to Houston. So we are going to take the Piccadilly line, which is this sort of purple line that comes out of Heathrow. And we are going to connect to the northern line here at Leicester Square. So you can see the Piccadilly line coming up here, the purple, it carries on, but we're going to connect to the northern line, which is this black at Leicester Square. And what I want you to pay attention to, and this is the tiny travel tip here, is your general direction of travel from Heathrow and then from Leicester Square. So this map is oriented toward north. So yeah, it's northeast according to the map, but your general direction of travel is eastbound. And when you connect at Leicester Square, your general direction of travel is northbound. And the reason this is important is because when you're in a tube station and you get to the bottom of the stairs or the bottom of the escalator at the tube station, you're going to see big signs on the wall in front of you saying, for example, Piccadilly Line eastbound or Piccadilly Line westbound or Northern Line northbound or Northern Line southbound. And you will already know which direction you need to go. You do see it quite often that people will get to the bottom of the stairs or get to the bottom of the escalator and they will stand there because they don't know if they need to go east, west, north, or south. So if you already know your direction is general direction of travel is eastbound, then you'll see the sign as you're coming down the escalator, as you're walking down the stairs, and you'll know automatically I have to turn right to go eastbound or left to go northbound, whichever way the signs are indicating. And you don't have to stop and stand there with your bags blocking all the traffic behind you. So that's your tiny travel tip. Know your general direction of travel. Look at the map before you go to the tube station. Know your general direction of travel for each of your legs on each line of the tube uh, on the journey that you're taking. And it will help you get through the tube stations even faster. Hope you enjoyed the travel tip. Thanks very much. Bye.